Hey, what is going on everybody? Tom from Tom's Roundness, and today I want to tell you about an awesome tool that you can use for free. Um, it's called coinauctionshelp.com. I actually got Daniel's permission on his video to share it with you. Um, and it is essentially a bunch of tools, really. Uh, but the one I really am excited about and wanted to share with you guys is the price guide that's on there. Um, it's free and it's pretty comprehensive. Um, I will show a couple pictures from the website here and kind of compare. You can just re read it, look at the pictures, and I'll probably talk over them a little bit. But um, it's it's incredible, and I always say knowledge is is power. Uh, you know, especially in decision making when you choose to buy or not buy a coin or whatever. Um, and this is, like I said, again, a free tool that you can literally access if you have um, your phone. So it's pretty handy, it's very user friendly, and uh, I just wanted to get this video out and share it with you all so that you have it at your disposal when you're out there uh, at the coin store or you're out there at the, the trade mall or whatever and you're looking at a coin thinking about buying it and you're not sure what to spend on it. I think these tools, the more tools you have, the better you'll get the job done right. So with that said, I'm going to put in some pictures here of the website and kind of talk about it and uh, we'll compare it briefly to two other options that are out there and um, I will give my opinion I guess. Alright so here we are at coinauctionshelp.com I selected the coin collecting apps. I'll put a link so you can come directly to this page in the description below but you can see here there's a lot of advertisements I think that's a way uh, for Daniel to monetize it which keeps it free for you uh, but if you click into the links, they're not affiliated, they're just paid advertising, so I would recommend not doing that. Um, I'm going to now click the Coin Values uh, homepage here, and this is that page. So you see you have half cents all the way up to large dollars, and we're going to click large dollars. You got your silver dollars here, you got your Morgans, your Peace, your Eisenhower, so on and so forth, flowing hair, Drake Bust, all that. Um, I then click the Morgan just to give you an example of what it looks like when you open it up. And now we're just going to quickly compare it to two other options you have. Here's Gray Sheet. Obviously, if you don't pay for it, this is what you get. Not as detailed. You can pay for it. It's like $9 to $30 a month. And then here's what most of us go off of. And you can see these prices here are quite a bit higher or inflated. That's because it's VF. All right, so what I was saying there is it's the red book starts off for Morgan dollars at VF20 and most of our collections are probably below that and so Daniels is a little bit more comprehensive in that it goes down to VG8 so it gives you a wider range so you know your your more common circulated Morgans are going to fall into that lower category so you definitely don't want to pay $55 for them if they're only worth 30 or 35 or whatever the case may be but again I think it's very comprehensive and it's definitely something that I'll be using going forward because, like I said about Gray Sheet, Gray Sheet is the gold standard, I think, for most people um, out there, especially coin dealers. They use it because it's a value adder to them. Um, you know, they can get a good feel on the market and so on and so forth. But for the rest of us that are just collectors, uh, to pay for Gray Sheet may be a barrier for you. Um, I think I had a free trial on Gray Sheet, and I will say it is very comprehensive and it does really provide a lot more information um, than you know your 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 red book uh, but again the red book is super limited and it is printed and not updated once it's printed so it can it can change and that's why it's not considered by a lot of people to be a good reference point um, I do think there are benefits to having a red book if you want to know kind of the the mintages or you know look for certain errors you know the I have the giant red book too uh, thanks to one of you um, but um, it's very limited in what it has. It has a lot of information, a ton, a ton of information. It's a great resource if you want to read it, kind of get familiarized with certain types and, and uh, coins. Uh, but it is dated and um, out of date, you know, the minute it's printed. And so uh, I'm not exactly sure how uh, Coin Auctions help uh, updates their stuff or what sourcing they pull from. But I did see that they're very comparable to... Um, like the selling prices of coins and so I just wanted to, to let you guys know about that if you're not a follower I strongly suggest you go over to coin help you and subscribe Daniel is a wealth of knowledge in coin collecting and he is a brick-and-mortar coin store as well as he has Portsmouth 
coinshop.com, I believe, and um, it's I've bought a lot of stuff from them. They have the uh, scratch and dent lots, which is really one of my favorite things to buy uh, back before I got a little bit more into kind of narrowing my scope as to what I really wanted to collect, but those are still fun and I still buy them. So um, if you just want to buy something fun and not know what you're going to get, definitely go check one of those lots out. Kind of like a mystery coin grab bag, but it comes from a reputable dealer and um, you get the value you pay for sure, I would say. But um, I don't, you know, obviously this isn't endorsed or sponsored or anything like that, so I don't want to go out of line with what I'm saying, but I certainly recommend you go over and follow Coin Help You um, and click the link in the description. It'll take you to that website again. Um, I think the way Daniel funds it is through um, the advertising, so he's not responsible for any links you click, uh, nor am I. Uh, so just stay off the links and stay on the, the, the uh, click the coin value and then click the coin you want and then it's a picture of the coins and click that and then it'll take you into the price guide. And I think, like I said, it is very comprehensive. It's a great tool. I really appreciate coinauctionshelp.com for doing that and Daniel at um, Coin Help You uh, for providing these great tools and resources to us um, because one, it protects us and it, it really preserves the hobby. Um, and I, I will say this, and, and I don't personally know Daniel, but I, I think he's one with great integrity. Um, and so I can appreciate what he's doing, especially, like I said, it's free. So uh, I definitely suggest you go click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment, and it'll take you to that coinauctionshelp.com. You can also get into the other, uh, just go check out Daniel's videos. He has them all in his description. Um, they have like one where you can submit pictures of your coin and they can kind of give you information and feedback on, you know, if it's a valuable coin or if it's a this or that error or whatever. And so, again, some great tools and resources by um, a really uh, booming channel in the community uh, and just a great wealth of knowledge. So thank you, Daniel, for, for all that you do for this uh, coin collecting hobby and all of us out here. Uh, general uh, regular collectors uh, but anyway with that said gold luck I bless and I will see you all in the next one